a person may be, be wondering, how do you break the spirit of hypnotism, hypnosis? Plain and simple. In the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 1, when Paul said, who have, who have charmed you, they should not obey the truth. So a person that been hypnotized, hear me, please hear me out now. If you've been hypnotized, it's time for you to start obeying the truth. It's time for you to start letting somebody control your mind. You stop believing a lie and start believing the truth. I tell people all the time, and I mean it, my friend, anytime you believe a lie, a lie binds you. A lie puts you into slavery. That's why, and listen, and I'm not being racist when I say this, my friend. There's some, there's some people that go to Africa and they bring the Bible and deceive people and take their land because they don't believe a lie rather than be, obey the truth. The truth will, will always set you free, make you free. The, the, the truth is liberation. Amen. So, so, so when Jesus Christ say, told the Jews, he told the Jews, if you continue in my word, and that's the problem we have, we don't continue in the word of God. We continue reading our uh, books of fables. We believe we 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 we, we believe people's stories. But what about believing the word of God? The word of God will never change. The more you read the word of God, the more revelation God gives you. And it gives you a revelation that tie in with the word of God. Any revelation you get, I hope is from God. Because God gives you a new, fresh revelation, but it's still the same revelation. So when Paul say, who have charmed you, Amen. That you should not obey the truth. So if you're not obeying the truth, you're obeying a lie. And a lie binds you. A lie puts you into slavery. That's why I tell people, people say, and I'm in a subject, people say that I'm not a slave. <laughs> but guess what? We all are slaves. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Amen. If if you read the Bible, if you read uh, what, what is what is it? A uh, Proverbs 22 2, 7. I think it's 7. That that the, the rich rule over the poor and the, 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 the borrower is, is servant to the creditor. And glory to God. So so we are a slave. Amen. I'm a servant for Christ. I'm a slave for Christ. But there they are positive slavery and there are negative slavery. And glory to God. So so if you won't believe a lie, if you won't believe a hypnotism, you are you are living in bondage. Amen. You are living under captivity. And the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You, you know when people are under, are under spells? You know when people are hypnotized? You know when people obey lies? And, the, and one of the biggest lies that people believe that there ain't nothing wrong with being gay. That's a lie. You call it to God. Can we talk about lie? If, if you are a person or if you are a if you are a parent and your child come to you and say, mommy, I'm in the wrong body. And you say, okay, what you want to do, Johnny? I want to get a, I want to get a new body. You can't get a new body. The only way you get a new body, my friend, listen to me very carefully, right? If you, if you give Christ your life and God will give you a sanctified body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the, the sanctified body don't have to go under no knife. So if you if your little boy if your little boy come to you or little girl come to you and say, "Mommy, I'm in the wrong body," and you will say, "Okay, Susie," and you will take your child to a doctor to let him get to let him get hormones pill to move his breasts, take hormone pill pills to get a to, to get a, a girl voice. You believe in a lie. You have been hypnotized in a lie. So how to break the spirit of hypnotism? You break the spirit of hypnotism by you obeying the truth. And the word of God, thy word is truth. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you are a person and you're watching a video, my friend, and you think that you are hypnotized, why do you think the little girls are hypnotized to have sex at a young age? Because they've been hypnotized. 
Songs can hypnotize you. Listen to me very carefully. Songs can hypnotize you. That's why Christians should not listen to secular music. Christians should not be watching horror movie. Amen. Because why pay? Listen very carefully. Why pay to be scared? You sit in a movie and you are you you been you paying them to scare you. Why? Because you've been hypnotized. And if you want freedom, my friend, you got to stop believing the Bible. Stop believing Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Thy word is thy truth. Hey, according to God. Pilate asked Jesus. He said, Jesus, what is truth? But Jesus Christ told him, everyone that hear my voice, heareth the truth. So people ask him, what is truth? The Bible. Amen. And there's only one truth. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, there's only one truth and there are many lies. And the lie is the devil. The devil is a liar. He's a father of lies. He told Eve, he told Eve, you should not surely die. And you know how you know how many men that lie to the, 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 these girls? You know, many, you know how many women that lie to men? I'm going to be faithful to you, baby. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, amen. So I was making this video to, for, for somebody that feel like you've been hypnotized. So how to break the spirit of hypnotism? I'm going to tell you what to do. Obey the truth. Amen. Obey the truth. How, how you obey the truth? By, by believing the word of God. Because the Bible says, he that believe and baptized shall be saved. So if you believe the truth, you're going to be saved. You'll be delivered. And if you don't believe, you're going to be damned. So if you want if you want to break the spell of hypnotism, my friend, you got to obey the truth. And that's simple, my friend. I'm not going to tell you things that I haven't experienced. Amen. If you want to believe a lie, you know how many young girls are pregnant today? Because a, a, a guy say, if I stick it in, you're not going to get pregnant? According to God, hallelujah. You know, a girl got the sexual disease because a guy say you the only one. You know, many, you know, the people, glory to God, are being drunks right now because they say that one one drink won't get you get you hooked. You know, many girls have lost their life because somebody tell you this cocaine, hallelujah, it won't hurt you. You've been hypnotized. America is hypnotized because America believe the devil. The America, America is damned. America is the most damned nation in the world. You might have a superpower, but y'all damned. Anytime you won't believe a witch, you won't, you won't, hallelujah, you won't, you won't come up, you won't come up, you, look at, look at our, who was it? Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, my friend, she, she won't listen to a witch. How about her, how about her political, a political decision? Look what happened, she lost. Because a witch is a liar. Satan is a liar. Satan's ultimate job is to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says, Jesus, the Bible says Satan is a, is a father of lies because he's a murderer from the beginning. He was talking about Eve. He lied to Eve. So if you want to break the spell, listen to me, friend. If you want to break the spell of hypnotism, you got to obey the truth of God. The truth of God is the Bible. You got to obey everything the Bible say. That's the only way you're going to break the spell of hypnotism. Some of hypnotism. You can't, you can't believe everybody. The Bible says don't believe every spirit, but try the spirit where it be God. Because there are many false prophets have entered into this world. Your pastor might be lying to you. And this pastor lied. Oh, yeah, your pastor lied. Your pastor lied about tithes. If you don't, if you don't pay tithes and offer, you are cursed with a curse. No, my friend, ties don't make you blessed. The Bible says, what the Bible says? Obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you obey God's word, my friend, if you, let's, let's flip it. If you don't obey God's word, amen, and you think you'll be blessed? No, the Bible says, my friend, no good thing will with him with who from them that walk rightly before God. A lot of people think, my friend, listen to me very carefully. A lot of people think because you have a nice car, you got a nice castle. You got cash in the bank. You got nice clothes. You are blessed. No, material things don't mean don't, don't, don't mean you're blessed. 
living the life of righteousness, that, that means you bless. Because a pimp, the pimp have nice cars, the pimp have nice home, the pimp have nice clothes, but a pimp don't have Jesus. So don't tell me because you have a nice car, oh, he blessed. No, you're not blessed. Bless me when you walk all right before God. Hallelujah. So how to break the curse? How to break the curse of hypnotism? Stop listening to people. There's some people that's negative. There's some people you don't want to be around because they are cursed. And curse is a spirit. Hey Amen. People, my friend, people ain't your friend. Hallelujah. Because a witch, I'm going to tell you something, my friend. The witches have many friends. They might come as, as butter. Hey, glory to God. They might come as honey. Hallelujah. They might come, my friend, with persuasive words. And words are spirit. And you find yourself being hypnotized. But I come and tell you, you ought to snap out of it and start believing the word of God. If you are, if you are an elderly person, you ought to listen to the word of God. If you're home and you ain't working, I'm going to tell you what to do, my friend. You ought to listen to the word of God. Look at, listen to the book of Psalms. Because the book of Psalms would, 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 would soothe the spirit of bondage. Amen. And that's why Paul told, he told, glory to God. Who he told? He told the church of Galilean, stand fast in the liberty. Stand fast in the freedom. Stand fast in the independence that Christ has made you free and being entangled with the yoke. Some people got yoke on them, my friend, and they're trying to misery and love company. That's why you can't be friends with a lot of people. My mother used to have a lot of friends come over our house. Uh, hey man, she was teaching, my mother was teaching people how to be a witch. She was using the Bible as a source of witchery. She called herself a Christian witch. Amen. And I'm not hollering, my friend. I'm trying to I'm trying to nail the point of facts that the Bible is not a book of witchery. The Bible is a is a book of love, a book to make you free. Amen. So how to how to be free from hypnotism? I feel I feel good. You know why I feel good? Because my friend, there are a lot of people on the sound of my voice that are hypnotized by the witch. They're hypnotized by sorcery. And I'm telling you, my friend, there are places that you shouldn't go. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are a Christian, you ain't got no business going to party. Hey, hey, come on. You ain't got no business going to no club. Hey, Amen. You ain't no business going to Hooters. Come on. Hey, court to come on. You ain't got no business going to a strip club. Amen. If you're married, let your wife or your, your husband, Lord, let them do it for you. You don't need to see nobody else nakedness. No, you don't need a lap dance. <laughs> hey, court to God. Amen. Don't spice up the don't spice up the wedding. Don't spice up the your marriage. Spice it up with God. The bed is undefiled. Hey, but whoremongers and adulterer, God gonna judge. If you are single, you ain't got no business participating in sex. You ain't got no business participating in porno pornography, my friend. Amen. And those kind of things hypnotize us because we're believing a lie rather than believing the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, I come to set the captive free. Amen. Hey, come on. And if the son has made you free, you are free indeed. Don't care what the devil say. You're not free. You are free. You don't need July the 4th. Of course, you, you can have your freedom right now. You can have it next week or next month or next year. You can be free now. That girl, hallelujah, in, 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 in Acts, the 16th chapter, she was tormenting uh, 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 Paul. And Paul was grieved in the spirit. And he said, in the name of Jesus, come out right now. And the Bible said, the spirit of divination left the girl. And guess what? They lock up Paul and Silas in jail because they, they, the game was lost. The spirit of divination. She was a Christian ball reader. She was a false, a false reader for the future. 
Hallelujah. So how to break the how to break the spirit of Hallelujah. Hypnotism, hypnotize, hypnosis. Obey the truth. Stop believing a lie. Stop believing you're not gonna get pregnant. Stop believing that you're not gonna be a drunk. Stop believing that you're not gonna be you're not gonna be a drug dealer. You're gonna be hung drugs. Now, I'm gonna tell you this to my friend. Wean yourself from pills. Because pills are band-aids. Amen. Pills leave side effects. Pills mess up your mess up your 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 what is it? Your liver, your kidney, because you are hooked on painkillers. Amen. Come on now. We all gonna have pain. And if you are taking a pill to relieve your pain just for a minute, you'll be hooked to a pill. And pill is, is close to sorcery. What do you think every time you go to the doctor, you have a headache gonna give you a pill? You have a backache gonna give you a pill. You depressed, it's gonna give you a pill. Come on, my God. Everything's a pill? What about prayer? What about praise? What about being in God's presence? All these things I'm saying to you, my friend, if you are a believer, learn to pray. Prayer still works. God still hear prayer. The Bible says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their ways, then I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Men shall always pray and not to faint. Ha, ah, glory to God. I'm telling you, my friend, what I know. Prayer still works. That's why, that's why disciples ask Jesus Christ to teach us how to pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stop taking so much pills. Stop being addicted to pills. You don't have no pain. You don't have no pain. You're still taking a pill. Let me tell you this, my friend. I was at Safeway and even though, even though I didn't have a headache, but I know the headache would come every now and then. I was taking something called B, B, B and B, something like that. It's a powder pill. It's a powder. And I take it so the headache won't come. I was addicted to that stuff. Even though I didn't have a headache, I was addicted because I was following somebody that's saying that if you take this, you won't have no headache. But it was, it was, it called charm. Amen. It called a lie. Amen. Pills is not the purpose or the, or the solution for your pain. You gonna always have pain because we 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 in we in bodies that are not perfect. Our body must go back to the dust. Don't compromise your health for richery. Amen. Don't, don't compromise your, your health. Because somebody's going to give you some portion to, to, to soothe your pain. You may, you may be dealing with a witch and don't even know it. Amen. Your body, my friend, is the temple of the living God. You're not going to let everything get in your body. You're not going to let no vaccine get in your body. Hey, man, you know how many people have died with this vaccine or get sick with a vaccine? Hey, man. But let me not, let me not say, say so much about vaccine because I don't want to take, take down my video because I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the vaccine. But I'm saying we got to stop believing a lie. Hey, man, because the devil is a liar. They know truth to the devil. If you believe the truth of the devil, I want you to email me, hallelujah, and tell me there's truth in the devil. Mr. Devil is a liar. He's the father of lies. Hallelujah. Everything comes as mine is a lie. Amen. If he's if he telling you this, it's a lie. Amen. So I'm making this video, my friend, of telling you, don't believe the lie. Amen. Believe the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only truth. That's why the devil don't want you to read the Bible. That's why the devil don't want you to study the Bible. Every time you study the Bible, you fall asleep. Oh, glory to God. Every time you, you read the Bible, your stomach growls. Every time you, you, you read your Bible, my friend, people that you haven't seen in 20 years, they pop up. Every time, every time you want to read the Bible, my friend, you want to go to the bathroom. You, you, 
your your bowels start moving. Your, your, you want to be you want to urinate and all that stuff. Why? Because the devil know that if you read more word, you have more power. Amen. Uh, less word, less power. More word, more power. Amen. So I'm telling you, my friend, how to break, how to break hypnotism. Get in the word of God. Amen. Get in the word of God. Stay in the word of God so much that you feel yourself uh, uh, being released from the hypnotism. Because Satan, my friend, he sent traps to trap us, to hypnotize us, to dupe us, to bamboozle us, to deceive us, to damn us, to destroy us. But I thank God for God's deliverance. I thank God for God's word. God works our power and their life. The spirit is life, my friend. The word of God. Why do you think the devil fight you so much when you're trying to read, believe, and live the word of God? When I'm trying about Paul say, when I'm trying to do good, evil is always present. But don't stop doing good. The more you do good, present is there because the devil is there. And a lot of people fall into the devil's trap by the lies. Why do you think so many pregnant women and none won't get married? Because the devil lied to them. Amen. Devil used people. Don't never think the devil used only ugly people or fat people or poor people. He used, he used people of many forms and fashion. Why? Because people are sent to hypnotize us. And we got to be, we got to be children of the light and not children of the dark. Anytime you listen to a lie that are children of the dark. But America, my friend, is hypnotized. So how to break the spirit of hypnotism in closing? You got to obey the truth of God. You got to believe the truth of God. You got to love the truth of God. And you got to live by the truth of God, which is the word of God.